tonight. We are going to show you now how to measure uh, what I would call the external rotator um, lag or the difference between the active and the passive. Uh, and we're going to use this measurement as an interpretation, you can just relax Maria, uh, an interpretation of the strength of the external rotator muscle of the shoulder. Um, we feel that this is very quantifiable, repeatable, and reliable. The first thing I'm going to do is we're going to position Maria uh, straight on her side here and um, put a little rolled up towel up under the elbow so that we have the, the, the arm bone, the humerus, in a, in a nice horizontal position. Her hips are in what I call a 90-45 position with the knees flexed to 90 so that, so that everything's nice and straight, there's no rotation in the trunk. I'm going to bring Maria's arm up and fully rotate it, just like so. You can see my hand is on the shoulder. No, hold on. No, I'm going to do it. Remember? Thanks. Okay, I've got a hand here making sure that she's not rotating her shoulder. And I'm just going to lift, so don't, don't try to help. I'll just do, I'll do all the work, okay? Just like so. And I'll get her up here to where I feel that nice end feel. And I'll just hold her there, okay? I'm using a specially designed goniometer. It's got a bubble level on it. And I'm going to line that up trying to keep her stable the whole time. I don't know if you can see the bubble level. Okay, and this is the first time I've taken this measurement. I, I don't know what this is going to be. Okay. And we got, sorry, I didn't mean to drop your arm there. It's okay. And we got 43 degrees. Uh, Maria, then I'm going to ask you to do the exact same thing. Okay. You just go ahead and roll that arm up there, please. There you go. Again, I'm going to stabilize here a little bit. Try to hold it still. I don't. I can't hit a moving target. Okay. We got 32, and then here is our two-pound weight. And we use two pounds in this clinic as a standard. Okay, and just roll that up there, nice and easy. Try not to bend the elbow, so it's a straight lift. Okay, that's plenty. Okay. And 27. Okay, let me show you our results. Okay. So let's see if this shows up. Yeah, here we go. There's versus your resistance, two pounds. This is the first measurement I took, 43 degrees. And here's the active. I would typically look at the difference between the passive, or excuse me, look at the difference between the active and resistance to determine if there was a significant, significant amount of weakness. And I might look at the difference between the active and the passive and try to draw a conclusion about the presence of treatable joint stiffness. Okay, and so this we feel is a uh, reliable way to quantify the measure of rotator cuff or external rotator strength uh, in the orthopedic patient. Uh, it's a simple measurement and one, one that lends itself to uh, a uh, uh, m measurable uh, impairment.